Hey guys, this is another interesting topic. How will you ensure that data entry is made in the tkinter forms? In the previous video, we have learned how can you build and show the data that is being entered in this text boxes. So I have shown you how can you utilize the dot get method to capture the data that is entered by the user. Now the question here is sometimes the user might simply click on submit, right? So here the enter email is blank, enter phone is blank and still is submitting. So how do you ensure that the customer gets a message box uh, stating, hey, you have left some of the text boxes blank, you need to fill them, right? Some kind of a warning or a message that goes to the user. So how that can be shown, we are going to learn in this video. All right, so let me close this and let me remove this. So in the last video, we have learned about how do you capture the same thing. We are going to repeat it for the email and the phone text box where the values will be there. I'm going to say email equals to, then I'm going to use the email text box and I'm going to use the get method. And the same thing we will repeat for the phone so i'm creating a variable called phone and then i'm using the phone text box which contains the data done now here we have to put a validation in place so that it checks that the user did not leave any of the text boxes blank so for that i will use a simple if um, uh, if command and then using that if i'm going to say if name and email these are the variables okay and phone the variable just now which we have created now it will check if the values are there or not so the, the meaning of the line number 10 is if the values are present or not for example i am going to say if the values are present i am going to show a message box dot i am going to show a info and i am going to say status as the title of the information message box comma i am going to say data submitted if the values are there okay if all the values are there that's why i have written end let's say the values are not there so i will say else is one of the values missing or the evoke condition doesn't meet i'm going to say message box okay uh, dot i'm going to show a warning right so i will say warning so warning will go with the title so title i will say warning and then i'm going to say uh, please fill all the fields okay this is the message now let's run it and see how this is going to function so i got the app i'm going to enter let's say rakesh and i'm going to simply submit so it is giving me a warning right warning please fill the fill all the fields okay so let me do it for the second one still it is giving me so i have to finally fill all the fields and data submitted it says data is submitted getting it so this is one of the easy way of implementing a logic to validate if if none of the fields are left blank so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again with a lot many interesting topics that are coming on python series on the hands-on series so please do continue to watch try them exercise them and do comment your questions and at least comment saying you have done this exercise so that i am aware you are utilizing the contents which I am creating every day. Thank you guys. Let's meet in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.